I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey graduates, it's Mayor Brandon Scott. I want to take a moment to celebrate and congratulate you for the hard work you've put in this year. We couldn't be more proud. I know it's been a long road of virtual learning and sacrifices due to COVID-19, but you stayed the course and persevered through it all. I want to leave each of you with a message and I want you to listen well. You are ready to conquer the world. Your family, teachers, mentors have prepared you for this moment and it is your moment. Celebrate yourselves. Thank your support systems and begin to gear up for the next phase of your lives. Each of you have the brightest of a future ahead of you, and I wish you the very best. I'm always here for you and look forward to seeing what greatness is to come from you. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to go a little off script here. Sorry, Mavis. Uh, graduates, can you do me a favor and please stand for me? There are, uh, (laughs) 
There are two very special groups of people here besides yourselves that have helped you along your journey. So we did want to take a moment to thank, first and foremost, the, uh, the faculty and staff of Green Street Academy. So please, graduates, can you give them a round of applause? Some of you have been with us since sixth grade, and they've been with you all along the way. So congratulations, staff. And then, of course, our family. So please give your families, friends, and loved ones a round of applause for being by your side this entire journey from pre-K to today through a pandemic, through the cicadas. We have made it. So congratulations. You guys can grab a seat. So good morning, graduates, family, friends, and guests. Graduation day is a day of rejoicing, for it marks the conclusion of an educational journey and the commencement of a new adventure. Today signifies the culmination of four long years of hard work and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Knowledge that will enable a person to embrace opportunities and take on challenges with a clear vision and purpose. It is my honor and my privilege to welcome all of you to the fifth commencement exercise of Green Street Academy. Please help me welcome our salutatorian, Christian Duffin, to the podium. Thank you, Mr. Gordon. Good morning, I am Christian Nuffin and I am honored to be standing here today. I want to begin by taking this time to thank and appreciate the people that have supported us every step of the way. I want to give a special shout out to all the administrators and staff for guiding us. I appreciate want to thank you to all the parents, family members, special guests, and the crazy class of 2021. Some of you may be surprised to see me. I was surprised too. I thought I was going to be number four, but somehow I became number three, then magically number two. But I would like to acknowledge Aaliyah and share this moment with her as a salutatorian and to recognize her hard work and dedication too. She was the first person I called when I found out I was being honored. I'm absolutely proud of every one of us for pushing ourselves through the difficult year and making it to the finish line. Upon reflecting on this challenging year, I want to talk about three things, discipline, integrity, and reality. When I was born, I was diagnosed with hearing loss in both ears. By the time I reached first grade, I was three levels below in speech and language. I was not hearing or responding to the teachers. It was a real struggle to learn. My parents told me, your discipline will determine your destiny, not your desire. You have to be disciplined in everything you do. Discipline is the cornerstone and it makes it easier for you to navigate through life. I had to become disciplined and work hard to achieve all my goals and to reach my teachers and family expectation. I stand here today to let you know that discipline has been my foundation to my success. As a class, we had to discipline ourselves to adjust to many different classes and people we were now interacting with in high school. Time management was our first real test of discipline. We were tested in many different subject areas, unlike in middle school. These tests define our future. We had to discipline ourselves to study more to meet our current calibrity and expectations. In the beginning of our junior year, we had to discipline ourselves to search what we are going to do after high school. We had to take the time to look over each college and each opportunity. As seniors, as our biggest challenge was learning virtually and we had to be disciplined. We had to make sure we were on top of our work to motivate ourselves. And there was no one looking over us and making us successful. We had to do it all on our own. We knew that we had to do this as young adults. Without discipline, we definitely wouldn't be here today. We definitely would have made it this far. Our destiny definitely would not have been determined so successfully. The class of 2021 is definitely disciplined. Integrity is doing the right thing when no one else is looking. Integrity reflects, uh, reflects one of the values I believe in most. Without integrity, I would not have became the person I am today. Not only, not only it is a core value at Green Street, but it is how someone should live their life. It is one of the most important traits in leaders 
and one that GSA has made us value deeply. Perhaps there was a moment as a class where we may have tempted to not have integrity. At times, some of us have really struggled to open ourselves and be honest with ourselves about the truth we were given. At GSA, this wasn't really an option. Teachers and staffs pull us to the side to talk to us and remind you that one of the core values was to value integrity. There are many times that our friends tell us, hey, that's not cool, and tell us to be honest with ourselves. This support team had taught us integrity to act is the act of behaving honorably, even when no one is watching. We are different from other graduating high school seniors. As a class, we value integrity. As a GSA student, this core value is the most important, and without integrity, all the core values aren't as strong. Integrity brings out the best in of all the others. It has brought us the best out of in us. It's, it is something that we do not want to lose in our life. The class of 2021 has a special brand of Green Street integrity. Class of 2021, let's talk about reality. It's time for us to wake up as we are about to face the real world. Most people expect you to live up to certain expectations. However, we should do what is expected of us in the time of Latin and not to wait for the future. Sometimes we don't want to accept reality, but we should to make a change for the better. Many of us don't face reality because reality can be a pain in the butt. But we must keep ourselves going and have the mindset that includes discipline, integrity, and real responsibility. You can dream and dream big, but we must start living for the now. You can dream about being a writer, but start writing now. You can dream about being a football player, but start working now. You can dream about being a professional, but start learning now. Don't waste your time on dreaming and start disciplining yourself. Be honest with yourself and get busy living. The reality is we are about to walk in a crazy world, the crazy real world, in probably 45 minutes or so. Here are some things we already survived and should celebrate. We have a glimpse, we have seen a glimpse of reality through our fair shares of events, like having no junior or senior events, the COVID pandemic, riots, Black Lives Matter protests, a debatable election, and the challenges of being vaccinated. I know many of us have experienced loss, including myself. Even though we are enjoying today by some of our most loved ones, they are shining down on us and sitting here among us today. The reality is that even going through what we have been going through, the most important thing is to prepare yourself, pace yourself, and take pride in yourself. But it is time for us to wake up and face reality and take control. If you don't remember anything about me or this speech, just remember, you only live once. YOLO. Everybody. Um, my name is Megan Bapte, and I am your class of 2021 valedictorian, for those who don't know, of course. So, fellow students, parents, staff, faculty, and special guests, today I stand here before you just because I have the highest GPA in this senior class. That was not a brag. I was able to do what it took in order to climb the leaderboard and make it to the designation of academically first in my class. Don't get me wrong, um, it is not an achievement that I am in any way undermining, but I also have a confession to make. Since the beginning of the year, I've had this sick feeling um, in the pit of my stomach every time I thought about this day. And the possibility that I would have to stand here before you in person instead of virtually. I thought to myself, you know, what if they call my name and I have to walk past not just my peers, my friends, other students and families, but I have to do so in complete silence. No claps, no cheers, you know, just the cicadas. I would be mortified. This is because throughout these four years, I really did not take the time to get to know my classmates and kept my circle of friends very small. I was constantly told not to worry about things like proms, 
things like homecomings, games, and friends. I was told all of those things would come in due time and to focus on my studies, which I did. But standing before you today, I can tell you that was not the best advice. So zero stars, I would not recommend. Here we are on the cusp of adulthood. And while I stand here as a representative of this class, every last one of us, from the class clowns to the teacher's pets, and even if you hated it all four years, will officially be considered high school graduates in a matter of moments. No longer having to hear Mr. Collins yelling at the top of his lungs at 8 a.m. in the morning for us to get to class. No more gray pants. And most importantly, no more stapled green ties. In anticipation of this day, I'd like to share with you 10 things that I've learned over the years while being a citizen on this planet. Number one. Although we may not always love them, they sometimes get on our nerves and they never miss an opportunity for a lecture. Oop, sorry. But we would not all be here today if it wasn't for our support system. This means mom, dad, grandparents, cousins, real and fake, friends, mentors, and guardians. So if you did not already, and if you wouldn't mind, I would like for all of us, and I will count from one to three and say thank you. All right, everybody's cool with that? All right, one, two, three, thank you. All right, number two, no matter what happens, always take away the lesson from the situation. There are no such things as failures, they're just lessons learned. Three, everybody is not your friend, okay? Just because they smile in your face does not mean they don't laugh behind your back. Always being next to you does not always mean they want the best of you. And surround yourself with people who bring you peace, not problems, and support, not suspicion. Number four, the students, the staff, and the faculty all around you today all together represent your largest network at the moment. So nurture these relationships and utilize them. Five, beware of indulgence. Even too much water, which is a necessity for us to stay alive, can kill you if taken in excess. Number six, I know we've all heard this multiple times before, but I'm gonna say it again, mind your business. Before you ask someone a question, especially a personal one, ask yourself this one thing. What am I going to do with their answer? If the, question, the answer to that question is nothing, just don't ask, all right? Number seven, the things you say, the things you watch, the things you listen to can all have an impact on your psyche, whether positive or negative, which then takes a toll on your behavior and how you view both yourself and others. So choose these things wisely. Number eight, and Christian, no shade, but you do not only live once, okay? Actually, you only die once. Live every single day. Number nine, what's inside your head will always and forever be more valuable than your outer appearance. Because imagine putting on a greater effort and investment in making sure you have a fence, a fence that is fancy, it looks beautiful, and it's so strong that nobody can break through it, right? Like it's as strong as the city of Troy. Meanwhile, the house that is meant to protect your brain is empty. Now last, but definitely not least, I would like you guys to take a moment and kind of collaborate with me here. Raise your hand if you've ever been heartbroken, disappointed, or sad. I feel you. Now, contrary to popular belief, people are under no obligation to care about your feelings, right? Too many times we hold on to things or issues waiting for the people who hurt us to come back and say sorry or to heal us, but truly they do not owe it to you. And that doesn't always happen. So you owe it to yourself. While they're living their best life, you're stuck in the past. And I believe Buddha said it best. Holding on to bitterness is like drinking poison, yet waiting for the other person to die. Now, this is just an extra one for the road, but, and this is also for parents. Please know the difference between guidance and control. 
You can guide your children, your friends, your boyfriends, and your girlfriends, but you cannot control them. The only person you can control is you and only you. Now, the moral of this speech, I know everybody's hot. I can see you guys, you know, waving all those papers around. I'm sorry, I apologize. Is it's okay to want to be number one. It's okay to want to be the best. It's okay to want to be at the top. But never make unnecessary sacrifices, like your sense of self, your pride, and inner peace in order to get there. Do not let life fly by and you have missed out on important things along the way because those things are what makes the journey more fulfilling. Live your life in such a way that when you reach that peak, that goal, that dream, no matter how big or how small, when you become that man or that woman, however you identify, that you have always wanted to be, neither the presence nor the absence of people clapping for you or applauding for you will diminish how proud you are of yourself because you did it despite it. Now, think with you from this speech and this experience, what will help you continue to grow and leave behind what will not. Today not only marks the end of this chapter of our lives, but the beginning of a newer, fresher, and more exciting one. Now to my fellow class of 2021, this is a little bit personal. We became, and you might find it corny, I know, and I don't care. We became chargers the very moment we stepped foot into GSA. And today, as we leave this field, we will forever carry with us that thunder. So keep charging it up. Thank you. Kai Jackson with Fox 45, and I want to say congratulations to Baltimore City Public Schools class of 2021. This is a wonderful day for you. Congratulations on graduating and for getting to this point and getting through a year of a pandemic, virtual learning, and just tough schoolwork. I know you really worked hard to get here, and I know your families are happy for each and every one of you and extremely proud of you, as I am as well. This is a very, very important moment that you're going to remember for the rest of your life. And I'm expecting, each of us here at Fox 45 is expecting each one of you to do great things in your life. Now to introduce your keynote speaker, he is a man very familiar with the city of Baltimore. He's a native son, a graduate of Johns Hopkins University, a two-time congressman, and also former head of the NAACP for the nation. Would you please welcome Maryland's native son, Maryland Congressman Kwasi Mfume. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. I'm Congressman Kwaisi Mfume. It's my privilege and honor to join your celebration today as we honor you, the graduates, on this unforgettable milestone in your life. It's also an honor to be a part of the network of your family and your friends who are beaming with pride right now because you have made it to this point. Your graduation in many ways is their graduation as well. So let me begin by acknowledging and thanking the teachers in the city public school system whose ongoing devotion to their profession never ceases to amaze me. Your daily dedication has made this day possible for so many of the students and their families, and we say thank you. In addition, I'd like to recognize Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott, Council President Mosby, CEO Dr. Sonia Santelises, and Chairwoman Linda Chinia as well as the entire board of school commissioners. And of course, TV anchor Kai Jackson for his steadfast professionalism and for his very gracious remarks. Students, in just a few moments, your titles will go from being seniors to being graduates. The theme for your graduation is quote, virtually possible. And it is clearly a reference to the fact that this graduation and most of your learning for over the last year has been conducted online. You know, it's been more than a hundred years since anyone has faced the odds that you faced to be able to walk across the stage and to finally get your diploma. We live in a world where governments were shut down, school buildings were unavailable for most of the time and student activities were put on pause. Jobs were lost by our family members and even churches, mosques, and synagogues 
were not open for us to pray in or to worship in. Seniors, none of you asked for this. None of you would have ever expected it to be the case, but it happened. And guess what? The great class of 2021 held together. You won. You are here. You set a goal and you achieved it. And now you're ready to take that next step in life. And we need you now more than ever to grab the opportunities that come before you to make America better than the way you found it. That's why your generation is so important. That's why many of you in this generation are gonna do great things. And that's why no hardship, no hardship can stop you. I didn't have a high school graduation. My mother died in my arms when I was 16 years old and I had to drop out of school two weeks later to take jobs to find a way to put food on the table for my three younger sisters. We were poor, we were homeless for a while, and we had almost given up. And then I learned, like a lot of you, that it's not how you start in life that counts, it's how you finish. I enrolled at a training center, earned an equivalency diploma, then graduated from Baltimore Community College, Morgan State University, and then Johns Hopkins University. I got elected to the city council and then got elected to Congress and became president of the NAACP and was reelected to Congress again last year after the death of my lifelong friend, Elijah Cummings. Now, why am I sharing all of this with you? I'm sharing it because I don't want you to let anything stop you from being the best you can. Seniors, all of you know somebody that was shot and killed in our streets because of gun violence and who are not graduating here with you today. Think of them quietly for a moment right now and know that that could have been you, but that God was on your side. So as you celebrate this happy moment, promise me, your mom, your dad, your grandparents, that you will be safe, that you will think before you act and that you will stay away from people and places that are not right and that you know are not right. We all love you and we want you to be the best, but you must love yourself also and know that God wanted to make you so special that he only made one of you. So to the great, great class of 2021, look around you and be happy today. Give your classmates one final smile and for some of them you will never see again and know that this one thing is true, that as long as you live, you will always remember this day, the day that you graduated from high school and became the men and the women of the future. So my best shout out to all of you. Thank you for allowing me to share your special day and congratulations. says, when you're born, you cry and the world rejoices. Live your life so that when you die, the world cries and you rejoice. So those words have always stuck with me um, to always think about what we do matters at all times. And I want you to think about those things as you move forward into life. And I'm sorry, I'm just a little inspired by Megan's speech there to say that. So back to business. In recognition of the records and achievements of the students of this class and by the virtue and authority vested in me as the principal of Green Street Academy, I certify that these students have met the graduation requirements of both Baltimore City Public Schools and the Maryland State Department of Education. <laughs> I
I take pleasure in recommending to you the graduating class of 2021. I'm going to let y'all keep cheering as long as you want to. They deserve it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have the distinct honor and privilege of presenting to you Dr. Joan Dabrowski, the Chief Academic Officer of Baltimore City Public Schools. Good morning. I have the privilege of acknowledging the certification and the recommendation by the principal and by the authority vested in me as the chief academic officer. I take pleasure in presenting to you the graduating class of 2021 for the conferring of diplomas. It is my distinct honor to present to you Dr. Martha James Hassan, who is the, from the Officer of the Board of Commissioner for the Baltimore City Public Schools, as she will now accept the class. Thank you, Dr. Borowski. I bring you greetings from my colleagues on the Board of School Commissioners, as well as in my day job role as a faculty member at Morgan State University. Thank you to all our Morgan alumni and a special welcome to our future bears. A great speech giver knows when to speak and when not to. And even though I have prepared remarks that I've been reviewing on my phone, given our sprinkles, what I'm going to say is let's get to this because today is about you. In recognition of the certification of these graduates, the recommendation of your principal and the acknowledgement of Dr. Dabrowski as the Chief Academic Officer of Baltimore City Schools, and by the virtue and authority vested in me as the, the, a member of the Baltimore City Board of School Commissioners, I take pleasure in accepting the graduating class of 2021 for the conferring of your high school diplomas. Congratulations. to announce the graduating class of 2021. Thomas Adkins. <laughs> Nayana Austin. <laughs> Keith Awkward. <laughs> Christopher Barnwell. Yeah, <laughs> Randy Belton. Kamari Blackman. <laughs> Khalil Brailford. <laughs> Michael Brown, Jr. <laughs> Larry Carmichael. Brian Clark. Robert Clark. Quincy Cortez. Paula Craig. Cameron 
Crawford. Dante Crawford. Donye Crawford. Corey Cummings. Jermaine Davis. Natasha Davis. Tony Day. Christian Duffin. Edwards, Kyrie Elliott, Brianna Fawcett, Dante Franklin. Wante Garrett. Kenyon Gilbert. Zaira Gill. Thurman Gladden. Anaya Glauden. Jalen Gordon. Elijah Gorham. Tanaya Graves. Asia Graves. Tylea Gray. Destin Green. Destiny Green. Elijah Hall. Deron Harris. Cameron Harrison. Sherry Hassaniab Shar. Danye Hawkins. Tamaya Henson. Oscar Hernandez. Aliyah Herring. Paul Howlett the fourth. Brianna Hudson. Keishel Hughes. 
Amaya James. Deasia Johnson. Deja Johnson. Devin Johnson. Quinn Jones. Kamora Karcher. Jamal Kareem. Justin Lan. Blake Lee. Anaya Leopold. Alfani Lewis. Devin Lamone. Malik Love. <laughs> Nate Mack. <laughs> Miracle Malloy. <laughs> Dion Minoki. Megan Mbappe Shinda. Damori McFadden. Deron McIntosh. It's raining, man. Carl McLam. Cameron Miles. Samuel Miller. Aliciana Myers, Kyrell Nelson, Takaya Nicholson. And Teresa Nickens. <laughs> Carell O'Neill. Donovan Oglesby. Demetrius Owens. Taiwan Page. Keith Parham. 
Sam. Nathan Pendergrass. Taylor Poles. Christian Pumphrey. Anaya Queensberry. Ahmad Rafis. Amir Rafis. Juan Reed. Cameron Richardson. Maurice Scott. Leon Sharp, Jr. Gabriel Shaw Cotman. Kaylee Singleton. Corey Smith Grant. Dana Smith. Dominic Smith. Justin Smith. Rayshawn Stancil. Danielle Stewart. Jaden Monet Terry. Craig Thomas. Destiny Thomas. David Williams. Donche Witherspoon. Joshua Woods. Dorian Yergen. Kaylita Ziegler. Please join me in congratulating Green Street Academy's class of 2021. Before our closing remarks, I would also like to recognize five scholars who by the terms of the Maryland State Department of Education have received the Merit Award for being in the top 5% of their class. So when I call your name, please stand. Megan Mbapte Shinda. Christian Duffin. Aliyah Herring. Aliciana Myers. 
Tamaya Henson. Congratulations to these scholars for this academic achievement. Please welcome Principal Gordon back to the podium for our closing remarks. Uh, we're going to make this fast. As we close out our ceremony today, remember always, follow your dreams as they will lead you to where you were meant to be. Green Street Academy, class of 2021, please stand and face the crowd. You may now turn your tassels. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in congratulating Green Street Academy's class of 2021. Charge it up. Families, friends, and guests, we ask you stay seated until after the graduation recessional that we are about to begin now. Thank you. Good morning. How are you feeling today? I just want to lay in bed and not do this. Hold on to my mind before I lose it. Bill Collector calling for the fifth time. Mm -hmm. Wish they get off my line. Dreams when my eyes close. I see myself living life like it's golden. Uh, like that Joe Skyline. Like the McDonald's sign. Pray to God for a sign. I've been stuck on rewind. Life's a challenge sometimes. 
want to give her, but I know I'm one of a kind. Now I'm ready for battle, so bring out the troops. I pull out the suit. Two me superheroes look like me and you. Cause 